All right, chat. So today I want to talk about gamification. So gamification inside of fighting games. So what I mean by that. So sometimes people have a hard time learning certain things in fighting game or putting certain things that they learn inside a training room into practice. And basically this gamification could be a way to help you understand and basically put these tools into practice a little bit more easier than trying to actually work on it as a whole in the entire scope of the game. So what do I mean by this? Let's showcase some examples here. So we have Soul and Kai here. So say if you're playing a character like Soul, right? And you were saying, man, I'm not really good at playing footsies on the ground. Like I need to get better at the ground game. I'm probably, I'm jumping a lot and trying to like get in my opponent. I keep getting anti-aired. How do I work on the entire like footsie game without getting anti-air so much? How do I stop myself, force myself to stop jumping, right? You're trying to work on your ground game. The simple answer and the gamification of it would be to simply play the game of jumping equals I lose pretty much, right? You force yourself in a, in a situation where you don't want to jump. So say if I jump and I get the habit of jumping, then, my, then I let my opponent get a free combo on you. The idea of this is to not worry about winning, but to put the things into practice that you want to work on. So if you want to work on your ground game, say, okay, I'm literally never going to jump. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to practice the ground game and I'm going to practice my whip punishes and all these type of stuff like that. And like you probably make like a, a, a exception, like, okay, if I get a combo and a combo, I have to jump to do the combo. And they like, say, if you get a 5k and clearly you got to jump cancel to get the combo. So you say like, okay, only for combos am I allowed to jump. But in the neutral situations, I don't jump. If I jump, then I got to allow the opponent to get a free combo on me. And you put this gamification in there to make it to where it's a fun process. And you're sort of forcing the application of the things you want. Another good example of something like this is to say, if you want it to work on say something like we we're just saying like a uh like a certain whiff punish with a certain move like okay i'm going to force myself to only use a move like this so my training partner plays kai right he is one of the best kai players i know at using 2-8 as far as the application of this move and i asked him like how did you do this like how did you learn this move and he told me he said i used it in every situation that i played he basically used the move so much in different situations and kept using it until it worked so he didn't care about winning. The only thing he cared about was trying to apply this move in different situations. All it be like try to anti-air or it's probably uh, controlling a certain space like this. Like, okay, can it control this space? Like, what is the application of this move and how well can I use it in the other ways of his tools? He tried that with all different types of moves. There's other moves where Kai has where he wants to see the application. Like JD, you know, a lot of people say like this move doesn't have like a real use. So he did the same things like, okay, I'm going to use this move in a variety of different ways and make sure that I use it. So you're just going to be using it in like neutral, using it in block strings and stuff like that. He made it into where it's a game for him to learn the tool and less about winning. So basically what I'm saying is try to actually make things into sort of a game. And then you can add more things onto it. Like, okay, now that I worked on doing the ground approach, now I want to work on this specific combo. So it's like you add more things to it. Okay. Now that I practice my ground game, so I got the ground game. You're still not probably jumping yet. You're like, I got the ground game and I'm pressing the button I want. Now I want to practice the combo with the button that I got. So you get this and you're like, okay, now I want to always go for this combo. So if I hit the opponent, I'm always going to go for this soul combo. Like this is, this is the goal is to always go for the soul combo that I practice, whatever it may be or whatever character you're playing, you would just want to go for that thing. So you're adding things as you gradually want to and this will make the process easier so the moment you start applying the jumps again now you have the ground approach and now when you start jumping again it will be much easier for you to play the ground footsies and allow you to be able to easier see when you may be able to use the ground or jump approach from just playing the ground you will be able to play the footsies better because you force yourself to and when you start jumping again it'll be a lot easier to recognize when you need to jump rather than just jumping all the time. This will break bad habits and teach you other fundamentals by creating a game within itself. And that's the whole point of gamification within fighting games. All right, so what I want to do is actually put this into practice. So I'm going to play my main character, Milia, and I'm actually going to play nothing but ground. So a lot of Milia's like to jump in the air and stuff. I'm going to try to play the character on the ground to work on my grounded game, work on my whip punishes, which is something I want to get better with my character. So this is a way how you will practice that. I'm going to showcase that with Milia. And of course, when I get a hit, that'll be the only time that I jump. 
and that will be like when i start doing my air combos and stuff like that y'all think we're gonna win it's kind of hard it's gonna be an l that is sort of the point <laughs> all right so we're playing a match uh with milia here who is my main character i have on uh the shinobi outfit so don't mind my outfit <laughs> all right so practicing just stand on the ground and then this also will help you with your anti-airs as well so you know if you want to practice doing anti-airs this will also help stuff like that all right so i got the hit now this is the time i can jump and remember i'm just i'm just practicing my hits right so if i'm going for a mix-up it's okay to jump there but in the neutral situations you don't want to jump Oh, got hit. All right, need a burst. All right. I messed up there. It's okay. All right, there we go. So as you can see, it is possible. It is a, like, it will be a little bit hard because you're like practicing something you're probably not used to. You're, you know, especially if you're like a player like Milia. You're definitely like focusing, you usually focus a lot on uh, like a lot of jumping stuff, right? So now you're focusing on not jumping and it makes things a little bit different. But it is possible. You can work on this skill. And it will help you to be better at things you weren't better at before. So as you can see, you can win like this but the point of this is not to win the point of this is just to learn the skill that you're supposed to be learning which is staying on the ground and practicing the things that you're practicing and it doesn't have to be this right i'm just showcasing this as an example as me staying on the ground your idea or the thing you could be working on could be completely different from just your ground and neutral but this is just a pretty easy example that i can showcase right here Okay, so they're grabbing me a lot. So, you know, you can't... There, You can have... There are options that characters have that can be grabbed. Milia's is going to be 2P. So I can 2P that. It will also teach you how to use your other options. All right, they try to grab me again. And like I say, it can, it can definitely be difficult, right? You won't always you won't always get stuff and sometimes you will die right but it is a way to practice so the point of it is to just get you better at the things you're not really good at as you can see i even too can struggle with like dealing with this, especially with a character like may that has like pretty strong tools but having a solid ground game will definitely help you out oh my 6p loss All right, going to super here. And this is going to be guess for game. All right, so I baited it right. All right, there you go. So as you can see, you can win a set like this. Uh, it's just, it may be a little bit difficult for you. And it, it has to be something you have to work on. It's going to help you with your anti-airing. It's going to help you with your situational awareness. And it, overall, I honestly think because people are so focused on winning and like less focusing on the actual learning of things within games it will help them slow down the game and see things that characters are doing a lot better like maybe you'll notice things like oh i didn't realize that like you know you could punish this tool or you can do deal with this like this because you're so focusing on like a bunch of other things but when you slow the game down and you focus on one specific you learn a lot more about the game overall especially as a new or intermediate player at games it could definitely be a good way to learn. So I just want to put out this idea of this gamification for people just so they can understand this type of way. Anyway, for always, at the people in the chat, let me know how you guys feel about gamification. And for the YouTube, let me know how you guys feel about gamification too as far as in fighting games. Do you think this is something that can help you in your play? 
if you're intermediate and new player this is something you'll be impl uh, implementing also let me know how you will be implementing it, it if this is something that you're going to be trying to do as always leave like anything you had to say drop me a like i greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me follow me on my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications so you know the next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see you next time signing out